the book of, hold on a second, I'm trying to get it open, uh, the book of Colossians, 1, 11 through 14 says, We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power, so you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people who live in the light. For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins. And today, I'm just grateful for God's undenying love, uh, the fact that he sacrificed his only son to, to die for our sins. And... Um, I was reading this, this particular, I just, yeah, I don't know, you're probably like me sometimes, you know, we sometimes we just do like a Bible flip, and um, I just flipped into Colossians last night, and know Paul is one of my favorite authors in the, in the Bible, and um, every time I read something from, a writing from Paul, I, I get something new, you know, and I try to pray right before I read the Bible, just asked God to give me some wisdom and understanding for whatever it is I'm about to, to read. And um, it's, it's the fact that every single time I read something from Paul, I get like a whole, because I'm like, I don't remember seeing this before, and I've read these chapters over and over, but it's the light. You know, it's, it, it made me realize that, you know, you, you could be in a dark room, right? And the only only things you can see is wherever the light is. You know, wherever you focus that light, like so if you have a flashlight in your hand, you only can be able to see and identify in the room what you point in your light at and what you focus in your light on. You know? And it's so important when you when you have the word of God and you are when you pray to God and you ask God to to God shine that light on me. You know, uh, open up my eyes, oh God. I, I, I feel as though, like, that is where, like, he opens up the particular, because the world is dark. Everything around us is dark. And God is the way, the truth, and the light. But when he opens up that light inside us, when we accept and we receive that light inside us, that's when he's opened up these things that make these things applicable to us in our lives. You know? Like in this particular verse, the thing which stood out, stood out to me was how it started, where he said, we also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power so you will have all the endurance and patience you need. Like that key word right there to me was endurance and patience because you know they go hand in hand when it comes to anything in your life. Like anything that you're trying to achieve, anywhere that you're trying to go, the, with all the blessings that God have for you, in order for you to get them, the most important, the two most important things you will need is endurance and patience. And you get all of them from God's glorious power, but that's the thing. They didn't say like a little bit of God's power is required for endurance and patience. They say all his glorious power. So that just sort of show you like how how hard it is alone just to have that patience and how hard it, how hard it can be to endure through whatever it is God can put you through. But the thing is, is that he's not going to put you through it if he's not going to give you what you need to get through it. He's not, he says that he's going to give you all his glorious power. See, the thing is, we don't go, God doesn't come into his relationship with us half past. He doesn't come in here and say, I can give you a little piece of me today, Gary. Or I can just give you a drop of me tomorrow. No. He has come all. He has come and give you all of him. Every single part of him. And that's why, and that's why he expects us to reciprocate that energy towards him. If he can get it. Because he knows that if he come in to give him all of him. Give us all of him. He wants us to do the same thing. And give him all of us. Like we can't come into this relationship half far. We can't say we is a Christian on Sunday. We can't say that, oh, because things ain't going so well with me, we mad with him. No, it don't work that way. In order for us to have the faith, the patience and the endurance and to get his power for all of this, 
We have to understand that he's going to require us turning over ourselves to him and submitting to him. It ain't a wishy-washy thing. You can't play both sides of the fence. And you know, I I did something new recently. I saw this, uh, I, I, you know, I tell, I tell you, I love the Christian TikTok because I get so many different perspectives, right? Um, but this one guy was talking about having a partnership with God. And the partnership is where you go in your corner and you pray to God and you say, listen, you know, I, I want to take you on as a partner now, you know, where this is what I put in, this is what you put in, and, you know, we, we, we try to create something great. And I tried it. And, you know, from I tried it, you know, obviously the enemy can try to, to attack and have you to, to fall back or whatever. But as I tried it and as I grew into this new sort of form of prayer life with God now, because, you know, I, I come into this partnership with him in terms of asking his advice for everything. Because, you know, when, when you have a partner, whether it be your wife or your business partner or whatever, you can't make decisions on your own. I can't go and, and make no decision without telling Brittany, hey, like, yeah, we planning on moving today. <laughs> you know? Like, you, is a partnership means full, open, and transparent communication. That is the only way a partnership will work. That is the only way that you and somebody else can have a good business relationship, the way that you can have a good um, um, emotional family relationship. And by me asking God to be my partner, that's the only way that I can have a good spiritual relationship. So these things are so important just to remember. And God's coming into my partnership with all. He already told me. The word of God told me. He's coming to this partnership with all. So I got to come into this partnership with the same thing and give him my all and submit to him and communicate with him. So thank you guys for everything that you always do for me. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for waking up. Um, Carrie and I relinquish my mic.